Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so what this video is, is basically an introduction to the microscope. Um, this is our microscope that we have here in the lab. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with microscopes, so this is probably going to be boring. But for those of you that have not used them before, um, this will be really helpful. Now I'm going to kind of go through parts as well as sort of how the microscope works. Now this guy right here, uh, these are our objective lenses. This is what you're going to be looking through. Um, in one of these, there is a little arrow. Um, it's usually the left one, if I remember correctly. And that little pointer or arrow is going to allow you to um, select out certain components of the slide if you have any questions about it. And that's actually how I'll be pointing to certain areas of slides on your exam. Now, if we rotate this guy around to the side, we're going to see our um, revolving nose piece. Now this is where most of the magnification comes from. So we'll go through all these objective lenses, what they are, and then I'll kind of go through how this whole thing works. So this one right here, this red one, this is our lowest power, uh, 4x. That's what you'll always start with. This one right here is uh, uh, low power, so it's going to be 10x, this is the middle one. And then this one here is our highest power. Now for our first unit, this is where we're always going to end up at. Um, and one note about this power is once we start using it, when you actually click it into place, you're going to notice, let me just modify this, you're actually going to be really, really close to the slide. It's going to look like you're going to hit it. You're not going to hit it. Promise. Now this uh, objective lens here, this is oil. Um, it's 100x. In this particular class, we do not use it. This is something you're going to use more in microbiology. So we're just going to ignore this whole lens, pretend it doesn't exist. Now, where the slide is going to sit, sorry about my bad camera skills, the slide is going to sit here on our stage. Now, if I rotate this guy around again, you'll see uh, there's a place for the slide to sit here. There's a little clip that allows you to clip the slide into place, and the light is actually going to come up from here. Now the light comes through here. You can adjust its brightness down here when we turn it on, right there. So you can see my light here. Now you'll notice if I turn the knob, it's going to dim and brighten the light. Another trick we have is there's a little flange here called our iris diaphragm. That also helps change the light. It's a little bit more um, delicate, so you can get a little bit more um, precise man light management. So if I go up here, this is it all the way open, now I close it. Now there's no light getting through. So that's just another way to play around with your um, lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our light off. Now let's go through sort of the process of putting a slide in. First things first, you'll put your slide in, clip it in, Look through your oculars, and you always want to be on this lowest power, scanning power. You're then going to come over here, and you'll see two knobs. The big one is coarse focus. The little one is fine focus. This is what we use in the beginning. So we'll pretend I have a slide in here, and I look through my objective. I'm going to use coarse focus. And do you see how much it moves the objectives? It moves them very, very quickly. So we're going to be able to focus rather quickly. Once you're in focus and you have centered your object, we'll talk more about that in lecture, uh, you can then move and click the 10x into place. Now, you can also use your coarse focus knob here as well, but you probably won't have to. Um, our microscopes are parfocal, which means every time you switch between one of these objectives, you won't really need to do much adjustment. So here, you'll probably just need to play around with your little fine focus. Now I'm playing with the fine focus right now and you can see that it's barely moving. That's important. Once we get something centered and in focus on 10x, we can then move up to our highest power. And it's really important that we don't use coarse focus here. That's what I just used right there. Once you are able to move up to your high power, you're going to be very close to the slide. And if you use this guy, you are going to damage the objective lens and possibly crack the slides. So once you get up to 40x, you're going to want to make a fine adjustment of focus. You won't need to do very much. And another trick is it's going to be rather dim. So you're going to want to come up here and increase your brightness. The reason it gets so dim is because the hole for the light to go up through here is much smaller. You're much closer to the slide. So we want to increase our light. 
Now we're done, we've observed our slide. Here's what we do next. First things first, turn down your brightness. Always remember to do that or you're gonna blind yourself. Now you're gonna take 40X, you're gonna continue to swirl these guys back until you're on your lowest power. You're gonna use your course focus knob, pull the objectives all the way up, and then you can unclick your slide and take it out and you're ready to start again. And that is our microscope.